about it there on a good crisp weekend here in Georgia. Just showing you that we started off with a hay field and you really can't see how rough these fields were. But this field behind me that we fixing to be working in or we've been working in was really rough. The fertilizer company wouldn't even spread the fertilizer. It was so rough. So I decided I'd help a good friend of mine out to uh, level this field up. So uh, today we're going to be running a sunflower. 12, 12, 15 with Remlinger rollers on the back. And we're going to be pulling that. And here at the field we've been working on. And this should be it today. I should finish this. Hopefully in about three hours I should finish this up. So here is the tractor we're using. Uh, I've been showing you some of the videos. The Fent 516. Uh, awesome unit. You just can't say enough about the features of it. Uh, really good unit. Uh, suspension, front suspension, cab suspension, Michelin tires. If you never run Michelin tires on a tractor, you don't know what you're missing because that's the best tire I've had. Some Michelin's on some of the tractors for 15 years. And you can run them up and down the road and these tires just don't show anywhere. Pull great and handle great. So, we up in the cab. And we're just starting today. Cut this radio down. So what we've been doing here is we've been, again, starting a hay field like this. And we have went over it first with this sunflower because it's about 337 pounds a foot of cutting force. Uh, there ain't no other really any other hair on the market. There's a couple. Maybe Athens is the heaviest one they make. Landall would be another brand. But this brand here, I studied up on it for years and this is the best leveling and cutting hair I've ever owned. Uh, it's 15 foot. When you jump up to the 1234 series, this is the 1212 series, you're going to go up to 550 pounds of foot of cutting force. So unreal how much cutting force these hairs have, but yet when you need to smooth, they do a great job of smoothing. We'll leave an unbelievable seed bed. As you can see, this right here is pretty rough. I have chiseled it about 10 inches deep with an Athens 156 chisel. And I have run over it with a brown 11 foot 6 hair. And the reason I did that is that hair has 7 inch spacing on the rear. So it does a really good job of chewing up this, these clumps of grass. And that's all I was really trying to do was chew it up. The sunflower broke it up, but the, uh, the brown really chewed it up. So now we're going back over it. So we done been in the field here, as I showed you before. You know, uh, then chose my field is 12.17 acres. Um, basically just go back to where I was. We fixing the star. I've already set my implement up here. Uh, you see it says sunflower diagonal tour. So I'm going across this field diagonally. Um, I've already set my implement up. It's on the sunflower disc here. As you can see, you got all your implements listed here. All your distances have already been set once you get it this library is always in here so I chose sunflower I choose it it automatically now knows how to set the GPS up how to adjust my hair and everything um, I already set the boundary as you see to 12.17 acres I've got it on auto here uh, and what this is here this right here it, it erased everything on our map so now we're clear so I'm going to raise up the, and if you've never ran a sunflower, 
you see my gauge there, A through H. So I can level this higher front to rear from the cab to tractor. This was not an option when I first bought this hair. It was a manual adjustment. But I went back to Sunflower. I'm an engineer by trade, so always trying to think a better way. So we came up with this hydraulic adjustment, which is standard on the next size hair, but not on this 1212s, but now it is. And I worked with Adco and Sunflower, and they did a really good job of coming back to me, and we enjoy putting this on and got it adjusted and uh, again, I can adjust it from the cab with one of my remotes. So I'm going to get started here. So we're just going to go forward. Again, mash my joystick. I got to take my parking brake off. I don't think it's going to want to roll with that. So here we go, starting off. I'm just going to basically turn over here. I'm going to speed us up a little bit and get us started in the right direction again. And as you can tell, a little cool today in Georgia, 52.7 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna hit my auto steer button right here. And she gonna get us lined up. And I'm gonna let the hair down. Okay, and then we gonna go right here to cruise by just and you just hit your cruise you just flip your joystick over she's gonna maintain the 5.7 5.9 miles an hour um, and as you can tell by having why well, rough it was and don't believe me it's still kind of rough but after I make this first pass we're gonna turn around in we're gonna let the hair up a little bit and we're gonna be able to go around six, six and a half miles now on this field, and we're gonna go all kind of directions to level it up. As you can tell though, this tractor's got the TMS function, which is this button right here. And basically, you know, maybe John Deere, maybe the other tractors have it. This is the first tractor I've ever seen it on. But basically now, I set my speed, and you can tell, I'm only running 1,470 miles, I mean RPMs, to pull this hair, which is a very hairy, heavy hair. Uh, again, it's going way, probably in the neighborhood of, with the rollers, probably around almost 6,000 pounds. So, again, that was the auto steer kicking off, but you can look behind me here and see how level that is. Unbelievable how good a job this will do, as you can tell. Back there, just an unbelievable job. This is a very, very good hair. If you never owned a sunflower, you won't regret going to get one. Get right here where I can let, my, let it up a little bit, get turned. On this edge, you can see where I've been going across here. And now I'm gonna hit the auto steer again. And she's gonna steer and then we're gonna let her down right here and float. And that's what we're gonna continue to run here. So I'll start back up in just a little bit after I've kind of run these diagonals and I start my second pass where I'm really truly leveling it. But uh, like I said, kind of rough. But then again, I started with a completely flat level uh, not level, <laughs> flat, rough, <laughs> a rough, <laughs> hilly hay field that was, you couldn't, you could not ride over it hardly in any vehicle. It just beat you to death. So we have been working on this. I started off at 4.4 miles an hour to break this in. And then I ran the chisel at about five and a half, six. And uh, then I ran the brown over it. And you can tell I run the brown this way. And now I'm going across it. So. I'll check back in with y'all in just a few minutes once I kind of work on this and then we'll kind of show you what the results look like. 